every Thursday, social media goes crazy with the hashtag TBT and the awesomeness that is Throwback Thursday. We love it so much that we're dedicating an entire segment to the social media takeover every fourth day of the week. We kick it off today, sporting gear from one of the most iconic Nickelodeon game shows of the mid-90s, Guts. Don't mess with me, Danny or Reese. Oh, HR. Get on here. <laughs> the game show put three competitors culminating in a race to the top of a radical rock known as the Agro Crag. So we're throwing it back and saluting the show and here to help us do that is the face of Guts and Global Guts. You may be used to seeing her in stripes, Moira Quirk. What is up, Mo? Hello! Um, I'm up. It's late, <laughs> but I'm up. Me! You're not wearing stripes, but we still recognize you. Mo, tell us, Super. how did you, how did you become oh. the host and referee of this awesome game show? Um, it, it was an audition process, and I got sent to audition for this um, and it was ridiculous because I know nothing about sport and I was fresh from England so I still called it American football um, uh, uh, but but I did silly things and said silly stuff and even though I'm short a short little dirty little Irish girl uh, against a host of blonde goddesses it, it was me there I don't you, know. you stood out. You were original. That's all you can say. Reese is yeah. going to ask you about the dirty comment later. I know you opened up the can of worms. <laughs> but tell us, there were so many great moments from this epic show. What was your most memorable moment? Hmm. Um, gosh, ones that I can say uh, and be clean. Um, we we or did you have. Can just um, go there. You don't young... have to be clean. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we had a young lad one time, and I, um, he was just super energetic, bouncing off the walls, won every single event um, by miles and in a way that seemed strange. And I, th I think he was off his meds that day, so, you know, whatever it takes. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I feel that. I agree with that. Well, yeah. Mo, despite being a dirty little Irish girl, you're actually from England originally. Yeah. Which oh, yeah. ended up with the most medals in the Global Guts episodes, which you were a referee. Did you cheat like yeah. they did in the Olympics? No. What makes you think <laughs> that, sir? Uh, <laughs> no. I, 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 you and your aspersions. Uh, no, I was very upright and tabulated everything fair and square, sir. Honest. Honest engine. Really? So you were never paid off? I have aspersions. <laughs> uh, a, a wheelbarrow of gold was never sent my way, no. <laughs> Mo, one of my favorite parts of the show is when you guys brought on famous athletes. Of course, I remember 1994, you guys brought on Charlie Ward, who played quarterback at Florida State, <laughs> right before I did. I'm a little jealous I never got asked to be on. But Mo, I want to ask you, did any famous athletes stick out to you? Gosh, who do we? We had Charlie Ward, and we had um, Peekaboo Street. We had the um, the gymnastics team from from the early nineties, um, and also Dominique Wilson. He was lovely, and he was so tall. It <laughs> was ridiculous. I think I went up to his kneecap. <laughs> That's a great throwback mention, yeah, by the way. Feel it extra Nuts. short that day. Well, if people remember anything about the show, it is probably the mountain that loomed as the last obstacle for all your competitors. I'm um, speaking of the famous aggro crag. We've got some rapid fire questions for you here about the Radical Rock. You ready, Mo? Okay. How big was the actual aggro crag? Really big. Did you ever climb it yourself? I did. Was it the hardest event to referee? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are rumors, supposedly, that the winners had to give back a piece of the aggro crag. False? True? I don't know. Um, <laughs> that seems mean if you did. Right? Um, it just seems mean if you had to, because it, it, do you mean like this? My, my husband got this out from the garage for, um, like, to make sure that you can't see our terrible shelves behind me. Um, but do you mean that, that they had to give their, their crag? You know what I think happened? I think that they got given one, and then they did have to give it back at the end, and then they got sent their one that actually lit up and did stuff. Oh, it's oh, okay. cooler. That's yeah. Mara, before you go, what was the craziest thing you have ever seen a fan of the show do aside from this interview? What of the craziest thing? Yes. They were all 
energetic, let's say. That's a nice euphemistic way to put it. The craziest thing. I don't know. No one put their pants on their head or anything like that. <laughs> I wish. That would have been fab. Um, I don't know. I'm going to confer for a moment. Do you remember anything just great? It was just energetic and, and anything crazy that happened was backstage. Yeah. Oh, backstage. That sounds like that. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. know that so Michael Malley was that's full the of energy. Interview. Ten-year-old stalker. That second year after hours. Oh, you know what? I did have a little ten-year-old stalker who used to call me. <laughs> he found my home, and uh, and now we're friends on Facebook. So I guess that's the strangest thing that um, eventually your stalker will be your Facebook friend. There you go. Well, Mo, in case you didn't, Reese Waters is right here. There's your stalker. All grown up. There he is.